liquefaction, tsunami, surface ruptures, ground shaking, landslides. These are the main hazards associated with any earthquake events. The Philippines faces significant earthquake-related hazards due to its unique location along the Pacific Ring of Fire. DOST FIBOX has been mapping potential locations of areas prone to these hazards throughout the country. Mapping earthquake hazards takes time, dealing with a ton of data to ensure accuracy in the final publication. Hence, the Accelerated Earthquake Multi-Hazard Mapping and Risk Assessment Program of the Philippines was established. Hi, I'm Arturo Daag, Associate Scientist of DOST Box and Acer Program Leader. Making detailed hazard maps consumes a lot of time, but by harnessing the AI technology, the program aims to streamline and expedite the hazard mapping process so that this may be given to and used by the stakeholders for their hazard assessment. There are four projects under this Asia program, Delta, Omega, Sigma, and Lupa. Project Delta, short for Deterministic Liquefaction and Tsunami Hazard Mapping, selected low-lying areas in the Philippines using Geographic Information System, Artificial Intelligence, and Geophysical Techniques. I'm Maria Isabella Bigano, Senior Science Research Specialist at the OLSTP Box and the Project Leader of Delta. Most of the communities in the country reside in low-lying areas near coasts and water bodies. These areas, often used for agricultural and economic purposes, are also prone to earthquake hazards such as liquefaction and tsunamis. Liquefaction is a phenomenon wherein sediments, especially near bodies of water, behave like a liquid, similar to a quicksand during an earthquake. Most tsunamis are triggered by earthquakes with magnitudes ranging from 5.5 to 8.3. The hazard posed by this event is mostly large-scale, due to the infrequency and severity of this event. Mapping these hazards requires a large amount of data to process, including a database of historical liquefaction events, soil reports from engineering districts, and remote sensing images. For liquefaction hazard, 50 out of 81 provinces in the Philippines have no detailed maps, while for tsunami, 37 out of 66 coastal provinces have no detailed maps. This project will address those gaps with the use of cutting-edge technology to produce and validate data, such as parallel computing, AI, geotechnical and geophysical techniques, and advanced GIS processes. It will produce provincial and city-scale maps of specific target sites without existing hazard maps, and these maps will be based on liquefaction potential indices and model tsunami wave heights this project aims to apply the developed methodology to the future hazard mapping of FIBOX. The project is named Ground Shaking and Earthquake Induced Landslide Hazard Modeling using Geophysics, Remote Sensing, and Artificial Intelligence. Such a very lengthy name. As an acronym, we used OMEGA. OMEGA stands for Optimized Mapping of Earthquake-Induced Landslides and Ground Shaking Hazard Assessment. There are two teams working under OMEGA, the Earthquake-Induced Landslide and the Ground Shaking Team. Let's start with the Ground Shaking. The Ground Shaking component of ACER program aims to identify areas prone to ground shaking and landslides that can aid communities for planning and disaster risk reduction about the potential hazard in the areas. This can also help in producing sustainable and efficient building design for earthquake resilience structures. In order to create ground shaking maps, we are utilizing data from our, our geophysical surveys using refraction microtremor and three-component microtremor as well as the borehole data from the local units. 
we are also incorporating the use of new techniques such as the use of genetic algorithms, programming and scripting, and geostatistical approach to create site response maps. The maps generated by our team include peak ground acceleration, spectral acceleration, and ground shaking hazard map. These maps will subsequently serve as input parameters for the earthquake-induced landslide team modeling efforts. And that's all for the ground shaking component. The traditional methods of EIO hazard mapping require an extensive approach relative to time and manpower. For that reason, accelerating the process of mapping is crucial for the benefit of local communities. By exploring innovative techniques and leveraging advanced technologies, we can significantly reduce the time required for earthquake-induced landslide hazard mapping. This will help in improving productivity and ensuring timely project completion with accuracy. We introduce new field geotechnical methods that include the use of shear vane, Schmidt hammer, penetrometer, sand cone, and sieve analysis. Similar to ground shaking, we also employ field geophysical methods using the three component micro chamber and refraction micro chamber. This model outlines streamlines the entire mapping process by simply inputting the required data and generating. EIL hazard map for the desired area. Also, AI will be used to automatically identify and eliminate areas affected by landslides caused by earthquake events. This will help in calibration and validation of the model accuracy. By utilizing a combination of field geotechnical and geophysical methods along with the integration of artificial intelligence, we can construct a comprehensive and validated hazard map of earthquake-induced landslides. The next project of the ACER program is entitled Active Fault Mapping using Integrated Geophysical, Geomorphological, and Polyseismological Methods, also known as Project SIGMA. Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Bapiona, Senior Science Research Specialist from DOSD FIVOX and SIGMA Project Leader. The Philippines is a locus of remarkable earthquake records. Within the past 400 years, approximately 100 destructive earthquakes have affected the country. Many of the damaging earthquakes are generated by the onshore faults. However, there is limited knowledge on these earthquake generators, their characteristics and behaviors, particularly for buried or blind faults, or faults with no surface manifestations. Project Sigma aims to address these gaps in subsurface active fault information and build a more comprehensive database of the active faults of the Philippines. Currently, active faults mapping is done through geomorphological analysis using digital elevation models and aerial photographs. Project Sigma integrates site-specific LiDAR data acquired using a drone. The project also employs geophysical techniques such as seismic reflection and ground-penetrating radar surveys which are especially useful in locating buried or blind faults. To characterize the activity and behavior of the target faults, polyseismic trenching will also be conducted. The SIGMA project will produce active fault maps and information on their potential for earthquakes which can be used by the national and local government units to further strengthen their disaster risk reduction and management initiatives. The outputs of the project will be useful in enhancing our understanding of active faults in the Philippines and mitigating earthquake hazards. And that is Project Sigma. Spatial temporal land cover mapping for risk assessment in land use planning through AI. Short, Lupa Project. Hi, I'm John Harold Tabuso, Information Technology Officer 1 of DOSC FIVOX and the Lupa Project Leader. We conceptualized the LUPA project to expedite the generation of land cover maps for land use planning and risk assessment. Since the generation of land cover maps is both time-consuming and labor-intensive, we have integrated the use of machine learning into the project methodology. This ensures accurate, up-to-date maps. The land cover maps are then used as components in the multi-hazard risk assessment, which makes use of the hazard maps produced by the rest of the ACER program. These outputs are then integrated into the JRIS PH platform, publicly available for use by local government units, academic institutions, private entities, and non-government organizations. So there you have it. Those are the four projects under the ACER program. To 
summarize the program's accelerated methods will expedite the production of earthquake-related hazard maps. These outputs will greatly benefit local government units, their communities, and other stakeholders. Thank you and we hope we are able to enlighten you on the goals of the Asia program.